Let's take a look at a couple of tricks you can use when you're adding legends to your print layouts in QGIS. So I've got a print layout, I've got a couple of layers, one's roads and one's polygons for part of England. And I go to add my legend and I'll just add it right in the middle. And as usual at first, it's quite messy. Um, but we can quickly edit our legend by going over to the right and item properties. And then if I untick auto update, it will allow me to manually select and then remove any items I don't want in it. So I'm going to remove this land copy layer because I don't need that. And what I want to do here is I want to have circular color patches for this layer. I also want to change the name of the layer. So I've selected it on the right and then I can click the little edit button and I'll give this the correct name for the layer. But what I'm really interested in here is changing these color patches so they're circles. It's not very obvious but if you double click on the layer name, so that the legend item name, so in this case it says OEC 2021. I'm going to double click that and it's going to bring up legend item properties. And then from here, if you see the thing called patch, below that there's a shape section and you can just click on the color patch or click the drop down to configure the patch. It does the same thing. And what you see here is this string which details how the shape is generated. It's a WKT string. WKT stands for well-known text and it's just a way of telling the computer what shape to draw but you can modify that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a shape that's a circle and this is in the description for the video. It looks a bit complicated but I'm just going to paste this in. So that's going to define a circle, but you'll notice the actual legend doesn't look circular right now. But don't worry about that. If I go back, I can then change the width and height to 5 and 5, or 6 and 6. So now we have it as a circle, which is what we want. Remember, we double clicked on it and we clicked on the shape section. And then this is the geometry defined as a polygon and it basically uses um, coordinates to define a circle with lots of points so it gives you a smooth circle. And once you know how this works and where to find it you can do the same kind of thing with any layer. So if we wanted to change the colour patch or the symbol patch for roads we could do that really easily. So I've got some motorways on there so let's find something that looks appropriate for that and again the link for this is in the description with loads more examples. So I'll double click on GB Roads, I do, I'll go down to Shape and I'm going to paste in a different kind of symbol and you can see it gives you a kind of motorway junction style, style thing and I can increase the size to 5 and 5, does that work? Yeah 10 and 10 for example or height 5. You can increase it or you can modify it there however you want and if I click on the patch here you'll see how it's defined with that text. You don't really need to know anything about well-known text, about what it is uh, or how to write it. There's loads of examples in the link in the description but that's how you can change it. Let me just go and do one more thing. I'll highlight GB Roads, I'll click on edit and I'll call this motorways. So that's how you can modify these things. You untick auto update, you double click the layer you want to modify and then you can configure the symbol patch by clicking on the button or clicking the drop down to configure the patch. And from there it's just a case of knowing what to paste in and if you see the description you'll get full explanation there. So hopefully that'll enable you to do legends that are a little bit more interesting and unique.